the Ukrainian counteroffensive has begun. Activity throughout Ukraine is consistent with a variety of indicators that Ukrainian counteroffensive operations are underway across the theater. Here is what we're seeing and how to evaluate this activity. Ukrainian officials have long signaled that there will not be an announcement that the counteroffensive has begun. The counteroffensive won't likely unfold as a single grand operation. It will likely consist of many undertakings at numerous locations of varying size and intensity over many weeks. The initial counteroffensive operations may be the most difficult and slowest, as they involve penetrating prepared defensive positions. Initial setbacks are to be expected. This phase may also see the highest Ukrainian losses. Militaries have long identified the penetration phase of a mechanized offensive as the most dangerous and costly. The success or failure of this phase may not be apparent for some time. Ukrainian forces are continuing to try to surprise the Russians about where the main effort will be. Ukrainian officials yesterday announced that Ukrainian troops have moved on to the offensive in Bakhmut. Ukrainian military officials announced yesterday that Ukrainian troops advanced up to one kilometer in unspecified sectors of the Bakhmut area. Russian sources are concerned about Ukrainian attacks on the southwestern, northwestern, and northeastern outskirts of the city. Along with official declarations of Ukrainian offensive intent in Bakhmut, we observed a general uptick in military activity across the entire front line, not all of it part of the Ukrainian counter-offensive effort. Russian forces are attacking, and Ukrainian forces are counter-attacking in limited sectors of the Kharkiv and Luhansk Oblast front line. Russian sources have claimed limited success in areas northeast of Kupyansk over the past few days. Ukrainian forces have conducted localized attacks in the western Donetsk and eastern Zaporizhia Oblast border area over the past few days. Russian sources have reported that some critical settlements in this sector are still contested. Ukrainian forces appear to be conducting ground attacks in western Zaporizhia Oblast in the area south and southwest of Orykiv on June 7. Russian mill bloggers have been the most concerned about this area since early 2023. Russian sources are claiming that Ukrainian forces have committed leopard tanks and other Western kit to these attacks, which some Western sources have confirmed. Defining any one of these sets of tactical actions as the counteroffensive is inappropriate. Ukrainian forces are conducting a variety of operations across the front, and the counteroffensive operation will unfold over time. According to Russian information, for the first time, a Ukrainian Leopard 2A4 tank was destroyed by the Russian army during the recent Ukrainian attack near Novopokrovka, in Zaporizhia Oblast. Denis Pushilin, the head of the DPR, gave an interview to RIA News and admitted that the situation in Bakhmut is difficult for the Russians. In Bakhmut, soldiers of the 77th Separate Airmobile Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces turned an enemy tank into a pile of burning scrap metal.
Zelensky went to Kherson for a working trip. He will discuss necessary actions needed after the Kakhovka Dam destruction. A video appeared online from, reportedly, inside of Kakhovka hydropower plant. And this is funny, happened during Ukrainian crossing of the river. Denis Pushilin, the head of the DPR, gave an interview to RIA News and admitted that the situation in Bakhmut is difficult for the Russians. The situation is stable, but controlled. The opponent on a regular basis tries to pressure как фланги, так и непосредственно совершает обстрелы, зачастую хаотические, но регулярные, что характерно из артиллерийских орудий и из минометов, также задействуя беспилотную авиацию. То есть, и здесь мы, конечно, никаких тоже иллюзий не испытываем, противник будет пытаться хоть в какой-то части вернуть утраченные позиции и или же продемонстрировать какие-то успехи. Но мы понимаем, что этого противнику позволить не можем, поэтому там сконцентрированы достаточно серьезные силы, и, то есть и уже более слаженную работу, опять же, между подразделениями мы видим, и опять же, героические действия со стороны наших военнослужащих. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.